Hello and welcome to another episode of today's GK. I am Pooja Devedi and in this segment we bring to you objective questions on a daily basis to help you crack prelims. So let's begin with the practice question of the last segment. Consider the following statements. IPO is the selling of securities to the public in the primary market. Primary market deals with new securities being issued for the first time and hence is also known as the new issues market. So we have to select the correct statement or statements. Both the statements given above are correct. The correct answer is option C. CB recently approved a slew of amendments to various regulations including tightening rules for the utilization of IPO proceeds. And we have discussed the first two statements. So let's move forward to the next question. Consider the following statements. The second edition of Innovations for You is a compendium of innovations focused on agriculture. The Ingenious Tinkerers is a compendium on the innovations on technology featuring 41 innovations from Atal Tinkering Labs of India. So we have to select the correct statement or statements. Okay, so first and second, both the statements are definitely correct. The correct answer is option C. Now recently, Atal Innovation Mission Niti Aayog released the second edition of Innovations for You and another compendium titled The Indigenous Break, The Ingenious Tinkerers. And the second edition of Innovations for You is a compendium of innovations focused on agriculture featuring 70 startups supported by Atal Incubation Centers of AIM, Atal Innovation Mission. Okay, so this was also discussed. Let's move forward. Consider the following statements regarding positive indigenization list. It is an intrinsic part of the Defense Acquisition Procedure 2020. For a product to be an indigenous system, items not only use technologies developed by DRDO, but also meet the specified requirement of sourcing indigenous content of 50% should be there. So, incorrect statement we have to choose, but both are actually correct. The correct answer is option D, neither one nor two. A positive indigenization list of subsystems, assemblies, sub-assemblies, components has been notified by the Department of Defense Production Ministry of Defense and it is notified as part of the efforts to achieve self-reliance in defense manufacturing and minimize imports by defense public sector undertakings. Moving on. Now, if we talk about the positive indigenization list, the list contains 2,500 imported items which have already been indigenized and 351 imported items which will be indigenized in the next three years. This Atmanirbhar initiative will save foreign exchange approximately equivalent to 3000 crore every year. The positive indigenization list is an intrinsic part of the Defense Acquisition Procedure 2020 and we have discussed this statement so we shall move forward. Consider the following statements regarding the quantum technology. Like conventional computers, quantum computers process information in bits or ones and zeros. They exploit the properties of quantum mechanics, the science that governs how matters behave on the atomic scale. So we have to select the correct statement. Second is correct, first is not because they do not work on bits like the conventional computers, but quantum bits, so qubits should be there. So, correct answer is option B2 only. The Indian Army, with support from the National Security Council Secretariat, has recently established the Quantum Lab at Military College of Telecommunication Engineering, MO, to spearhead research and training in this key developing field. Quantum technology is based on the principles of quantum mechanics that was developed in the early 20th century to describe nature at the scale of atoms and elementary particles. Conventional computers process information in bits or ones and zeros following classical physics which under which our computers can process, a, process at one or zero at a time and quantum computers compute in qubits. They exploit the properties of quantum mechanics, the science that governs how matters behave on the atomic scale. Next question, consider the following statements regarding Shakti Criminal Laws Maharashtra Amendment Act. Maharashtra became the third state in India after UP and Telangana to approve death penalty for heinous offences 
of rape and gang rape the existing law on rape had provisions for death penalty only in cases of repeated offenses so we have to select the correct statement or statements now maharashtra actually became the second state in india after telangana to approve death penalty for heinous offenses of rape and gang rape first is incorrect second is correct the correct answer is option b the maharashtra assembly passed the shakti criminal laws maharashtra amendment act unanimously with the passage of the bill it became the second state in india after andhra pradesh to approve death penalty for heinous offenses of rape and gang rape the existing law of on rape had provisions for death penalty only in cases of repeated offenses and the act has also enhanced fines and punishment for offenses of sexual violence against women and minors consider the following statements regarding atal ranking of institutions on innovation achievements aria the aria is an initiative of the union education ministry to rank systematically all major higher education institutions in india and it evaluates institutions on parameters such as patent filed and granted number of registered students and faculty startup among others so we have to select the correct statement both are correct the correct answer is option c seven indian institute of technology and the indian institute of science bengaluru are among the top 10 central institutions in promotion and support of innovation and entrepreneurship development according to the atal ranking of institutions on innovation achievement that were announced the top rank has been backed by the iit madras followed by iits in bombay delhi kanpur and Rurki about atal ranking of institutions on the innovation achievements the arya is an initiative of the union education ministry to rank systematically all major higher education institutions in india it evaluates institutions on parameters such as patent filed and granted number of registered students and faculty startups fund generation by incubated startups specialized infrastructure created by institutions to promote innovation and entrepreneurship moving on with reference to pm kisan consider the following statements under the scheme an income support of 6000 per year in two equal installments will be provided to all land holding families definition of family for the scheme is father in law mother in law husband wife and minor children so we have to select the correct statement so as you can see first statement is incorrect because although the income support of 6000 is correct but it will be given in three equal installments and that will be provided to all land holding farmer families and the definition for family under this scheme is mother father that means basically husband wife and minor children father in law and mother in law are not apart so none of them are correct the correct answer is option d prime minister narendra modi will release the 10th installment of the financial benefit under the pradhan mantri kisan samman nidhi scheme on 1st of january through video conferencing pm kisan is a central sector scheme with 100% funding from the government of india it has become operational from 1st of december 2018 and under the scheme an income support of 6000 per year in three equal installments will be provided to all land holding farmer families definition of a family for the scheme is husband wife and minor children state government and union territory administration will identify the farmer families which are eligible for support as per the guidelines of the scheme moving on consider the following statements with respect to the national commission for minorities the setting up of minorities commission was first ever envisaged in 1993 and there are a total of seven members and in the national commission for minorities we have to select the correct statement first is not correct because the setting up of minorities commission was first ever mooted in 1978 and then in 1993 a uh, statutorization of it happened so first is incorrect second is definitely correct the correct answer is option b2 only national commission on minority for minorities has taken suo moto cognizance of attacks on churches in different parts of the country and will be sending teams to inquire into the matter as well as call for report from concerned authorities the setting up of minorities commission was envisaged in the ministry of home affairs resolution dated 12 january 1978 okay and 
In 1984, the Minorities Commission was detached from the Ministry of Home Affairs and placed under the newly created Ministry of Welfare. The first statutory National Commission was set up in, on 17th May 1993 by a Gazette notification issued on the 23rd of October 1993 by Ministry of Welfare. Five religious communities, the Muslims, Christians, Sikhs, Buddhists and Zoroastrians were notified as minority community. And in 2014, Jains were also added. As per the 2001 census, the six religious minority communities constitute 18.80% of the country's population. As per Section 3, Clause 2 of the National Commission for Minorities Act of 1992, the commission consists of a chairperson, a vice chairperson and five members. That is, total of seven persons to be nominated by the central government from amongst. Moving on, with reference to the New Development Bank, consider the following statements. It was established in 2015 by BRICS countries and currently there are a total of nine members of the NDB. So we have to select the correct statement. statements. Both are correct. The correct answer is option C. India has welcomed Egypt as the fourth new member of the BRICS New Development Bank, which was established in 2015 by BRICS countries, Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa. The bank's membership is open to members of the United Nations. It commenced the admission of its first new members, member countries, that was in the second half of 2021. Apart from BRICS, Bangladesh, UAE, Egypt and Uruguay are the members of the New Development Bank. Moving on. With respect to Sino-Japan relations, consider the following statements. Japan and China have agreed to establish a military hotline by 2022. In 2022, both the countries will observe 25 years of establishing diplomatic relations between the two countries. So we have to select the correct statement. First statement is correct. Second is not because it will be 50 years of diplomatic relation celebration in 2022. So the correct answer is option A. Japan and China have agreed to establish a military hotline by 2022 in a bid to put in place a system to defuse potential crises over disputed islands and the Taiwan Strait. The Japanese Defense Ministry said in order to improve effectiveness of the maritime and aerial communication mechanism, a system established in 2018 to avert unintended clashes. Xi Jinping said, the rivals should pursue friendly and cooperative relations ahead of next year's 50th anniversary of their establishment, re-establishment of diplomatic ties in 1972. However, Japanese media had regularly reported about presence of Chinese military vessels around the Senkaku Islands. Consider the following statements with respect to the Northeastern Region District Sustainable SDG Index. It has been developed with the technical support from the United Nations Development Program. It is for the first time a district-wise index is being prepared in the country. So we have to select the correct statement. Both are correct. The correct answer is option C. The Ministry of Development of the Northeastern Region, in collaboration with Niti Aayog, released the Northeastern Region District Sustainable Development Goal Index and Dashboard of 21 and 22. The ministry said that with the technical support from the UNDP, it is the first kind in the country as it focuses on the northeastern region. It added for the first time a district-wise index is being prepared in the country which will measure the performance of the district of the eight northeastern states. This index will be used as a base for planning of development and welfare activities, education and health care. Minister stressed the need to generate livelihood which will not only help in increasing the family's income, but also raise the living standards. Moving on. The Sankalp Smarak recently seen in the news is associated with which of the following personalities? So I hope you'll be answering it correctly in the comments segment. That's it for today. Tomorrow we shall meet again with another segment. Until then, stay updated and thank you so much for watching.